Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel, right? So inside the contest dropped yesterday and it is kind of like a Kabam video updating us about the events of next month. Obviously we still do not have all the details, but there were several interesting revelations that kind of showcased uh, more teases about Battlegrounds. Basically officially confirmed 7.4 and its arrival in March. They also showcased Kang boss fight, spoke about that in a bit. And uh, so far all the leaks seem to have been accurate and it looks exactly the way it did before. And they also, perhaps uh, most unexpectedly, announced April champions. So, now we know March champions. That are, those are going to be Omega Sentinel and Captain Britain, Betty Braddock. And uh, that is all happening in March. Unfortunately, we do not still have the ability breakdowns for those. However, we now have an official announcement that Black Cat and Scorpion are joining the contest in April. And uh, I know a lot of people had already been expecting this. There is a JX channel. I think I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. He has been doing kind of like his guesses and predictions based on the Naruto roadmap and the map state of the battle realm maps and uh, he's been hitting them pretty much all correctly or most of them correctly so i recommend watching those videos again on his channel i'll leave a link to at least one of them in the description and uh he pretty much perfectly i believe predicted this one here as well and i know a lot of people have been waiting specifically for scorpion for quite a long time and black hat has also its fan club now i'll be 100 percent honest i have never been too much uh into these characters you know i have obviously seen scorpion as a spider-man villain but every time i saw him in any kind of sort of media he's been made look a bit silly and uh, he's been kind of like a comic relief minor baddie that always gets spanked like nobody's business but uh it's still worth taking a look at who these champions are and i'm sure that they are some of your favorites or some of the champions that you personally have been you know patiently waiting for so we can start with the black Cat. And the idea of Black Cat is uh, she does have a fairly kind of like dark origin story for most part. But the main point is that uh, she is a uh, cat burglar and also a skilled fighter. She doesn't necessarily have any superpowers up until the point where she gets empowered. And uh, I do hope that they use that empowered version of her because uh when she gets empowered she kind of gets uh artificial implants and you know her cat nail type of things but perhaps most importantly she does have probability manipulation skills and if that sounds familiar then that is exactly basically what domino has just you know in it or long shot so basically in case of black cat she has an implant that uh can affect probability and force bad outcomes on the people that are in direct line of sight of her and that can cause obviously you know weapons to fail and just unprobable but possible things to happen including kind of protection from magic at times so she's a black cat she makes other people unlucky so i do expect her as a skilled champion and skilled champ i do think she's going to be skilled champion most likely and the ability set kind of implies the ability accuracy reduction, perhaps even a bit random. So there is a fairly decent chance that she could be quite annoying. Like we all know how annoying it is to fight Domino and then go unlucky and then you fail your dexes and then you have your 15% ability accuracy reduction at all times and something similar could exist in Black Cat. She could just make everybody quite unlucky they are fighting her. Uh, but the point is, She's expert thief, Olympic level athlete, and also a skilled martial artist. Storyline points, I think most of most known storylines about Black Hat typically revolve around Spider-Man. She and Spider-Man kind of had a fling, they couldn't got, got together, and she has been kind of like a anti-hero for quite a while, where you know, she's a baddie, but she's a cat. She's, she's just a regular casual cat, you know. All of them are nice, cuddly, cute, but also a bit of an asshole. So that's kind of what Black Cat is. Again, uh, not necessarily a champion that I'm personally kind of like super hyped about, but I do think that she could be a very interesting addition to the contest. And for all of you who have been waiting for Black Cat, you know, my congratulations there. 
And then Scorpion, again, I viewed Scorpion as kind of like a bit of a slapstick humor relief, but uh, his actual story isn't even that funny, right? His actual storyline is the fact that he was private detective, he got hired by J. John Jameson to stalk Peter Parker, he failed, then John John Jameson kind of sponsored an experiment on him that turned him into a psycho and drove him mad and gave him the Scorpion powers. That's kind of like the story like that. As you know, this Black Cat is largely kind of like a street level hero. Scorpion is stronger than that, but he's, you know, also not one of the major kind of power players, so to speak. He is quite capable, though. He is quite strong. He's quite fast. He's not necessarily, you know, speeds the level fast, but he can outrun cars and things like that. He's very durable. And obviously he has these Scorpion like abilities and it also affected his personality. So he has the pincers and cybernetically kind of like attached scorpion tail to him that uh, does all of the things that you'd expect it to do and can be used to whack people too with. Uh, however, again, um, he's not the smartest, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. And uh, on top of that, he really, really hates Spider-Man and J. John Jameson, and he always ends up doing stupid things because of it. And, you know, that often kind of results in him being kind of like tricked out, smarted, or just screwed over for the most part. But uh, that is Scorpion. And again, uh, fully accept that there are people whose fan favorite he is. Uh, I personally don't find seeing him too much. I'd still much rather prefer, you know, a whole plethora of different Spidey villains, like, I know, Lizard or Sandman, but we're getting Scorpion, and that's fine, too. I'm not going to protest on that too much. Uh, it's going to be interesting what kind of ability kit they give to him and uh, what kind of champion he's going to be. He's probably going to be a science, because, you know, the, he was kind of created by a scientific experiment, and that mutated him, but there's tech enhancement things involved and other stuff. So I do think it's going to be skill and science champions next month. I'm not entirely sure on that. We don't have information about it. But that is about what champions are coming in on April. And uh, lastly, I will definitely 100% make a separate video about this subject uh, and discuss it properly at length, again, to kind of like forewarn people. But do keep in mind that Starting next month, starting Captain Britain and Omega Sentinel, as far as we are aware, champion balancing program takes effect. So no matter how hype I am for, let's say, Omega Sentinel, I will not be buying early access bundles. I will not be spending my money on the cow crystals. I might open a, you know, the one that you get with Sigil or later on, maybe a couple if I have units, but I will absolutely categorically not spend money on an unfinished product that will not be kind of like set in stone up until I believe it's August or September. Because if a champion is going to come out in March, it's going to be finalized only in about September. Keep that in mind when you do decide whether to grind for a six star, whether to spend a ton of money. I personally do not feel comfortable doing that. I may or may not grind for a 5-star just because it's, you know, fairly easy thing to do and I have to stream something. But I'm definitely not willing to actively chase a champion like that uh, because of this whole balancing thing. And that is a fair warning that the champions that will be coming out in March... And in April, so Black Cat, Scorpion, Captain America, sorry, Captain Britain, and Omega Sentinel, they are by no means final versions of how those champions will look six months from now. And not telling anybody what to do, if you're overly excited about the champion, and if you're a huge fan, and if you want, you know, to get the champion, do what you will. You know, you all have your own heads on the shoulders. However, the more I think about it, the less comfortable I am with the entire idea that you need to actively invest time or money 
acquiring unfinished product just because Kabam can't pull stick out of that ass and properly bait it as their own champions before release. And yeah, I definitely encourage as many people as possible to be aware, be wary, be careful. Think twice before pursuing these champions actively. All that being said, let me know what you guys think about Black Cat and Scorpion. And I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about...